What do you do when you're a 25 year old who can't stop regretting the past for being a failure now? Go. To. A. Therapist. You haven't lived long enough to be a failure. Keep going my friend. I can be pessimistic at times myself but I try to think that the universe will work itself out. Accomplishments are transient. Just try and find some joy in life, and if you find love, hold on to it. Do what you've done, ask other people their experiences. Nobody is a failure at 25. That's your time for screwing around and messing up. We all do it. You can reassess when you're 40. I felt the same at your age, but looking back, I was too hard on myself. Better to waste 25 than 30. Hit the restart button. You're on no one else's timetable but your own. I don't know but I'm 22 and in the same boat. I drink till I pass out, but you should go to a therapist. Drink until you're a 30 year old failure who regrets the past. In all seriousness, you slash shy girls free is right, see a therapist. It can do wonders for you. You are not a failure. You are still young. All you need to do is think about what you want from life, what do you think will make you happy. I'm not talking about short term, where do you want to be at 35, 45, 50? Once you have an idea, start. Look for how to get there, be it a new job, start going to the gym, find a new partner. You have the tools to be anything you want. I don't know what makes you feel like a failure, but you aren't, not if you pick yourself up from this feeling and strive for something better. Forgive yourself and move forward, life really is way too short. You're not failure. I'm 40. I don't know 75 years old who have it together. The point of life is to experience things and you gotta keep thinking of things you want to experience. What a wonderful life you have ahead of you. At 25, I was still doing my undergrad. At 26, I crossed off 5 things in my bucket list. Things change. Just keep swimming. I didn't do anything in my 20s and everything worked out fine for me. Part of me wants to say the worst thing you can do is get mired in regret, but that's not helpful either as it makes you feel responsible for your regret and your reaction maybe the right advice is to give yourself permission to have the regret. There's nothing wrong with it. But be honest with yourself about it. If you feel like reading something, read up on cognitive behavior therapy, Feeling Good by David Burns was helpful for me. Really helps break negative thinking patterns. Begin again. The worst thing that can happen is to wake up in five years feeling the exact same way or worse. Trust me, I'm you plus five years. Start now. Do whatever it is you want to do because we are all going to die, and it's better to spend your life doing things you want to do. Stop giving a fuck. Stop shitting on yourself. You have 25 more years at worst. Forgive literally everyone you can think of, including yourself, then consider your value as immutable and permanent. Nobody is beyond redemption, and reality is not about ideals. Realize that many successful people weren't famous until later in life. Stan Lee made his first comic book when he was 39. Harrison Ford was a self-taught carpenter until he started acting in his mid-30s. Hell, even Colonel Sanders had multiple jobs all his life and was a failing salesman for part of it. He only started selling fried chicken in his 60s. The key difference you can make right now is not giving up. Keep trying and doing new things, keep discovering things about yourself. When you find the right thing it doesn't take long to become successful. Edit, to add to this, it's easy to think of people more successful than you as having a head start in life. But remember success ties you down to what makes you successful. Success makes you complacent and honestly, your 20s should be spent discovering things, hustling and learning to adapt. Don't be surprised if you find people who found success early starting to decline or not understand how to maintain their success as time goes on. Life is a long-term game, and where you are at now is hardly a reflection of how you will spend the rest of it. But that's up to whether or not you're willing to keep searching and adventuring through it all. Keep it up. And good luck. The easy answer this question asks for. 
realize that you don't want to be in the same position in 5 years, looking back at 25 year old you and wishing he had done something. Real answer, get professional help if you can. Seek support from friends and family. Talk to people. Put in hard work to try and change your life. Yeah dude. 25? Start over. You got plenty of time ahead. I applied to go back to school. I still feel like a failure and my mental health isn't great but at least I have a sense of stability and accountability, and that I'm moving forward slowly. Things will get better, but sometimes it takes some work on your part. It isn't easy but you got this. ETA, for a comment that I completely forgot I made, this really blew up. I'm truly inspired by all of the stories that have been shared here, and it's like I said to another person, there are a lot of things that can be taken away from you, but education isn't one of them. I believe in all of you, and thank you for sharing your stories. Eat KFC and don't care. You can skip the therapist part has been suggested by many Redditors here, but you should knowledge one thing. Nobody's been there to tell me this, but until I've realized it by myself I've been miserable AF. Your happiness and well-being overall is in your hands and yours only, at all times. It's up to you to make something out of yourself, and no one else. Perhaps I could elaborate some more on this, but I don't really know what is it you're regretting, and I've given too much of possibly harmful advices here already. It's okay, it's called life, the rest of your life starts now, the past is irrelevant. I'm 25. I recently moved across the country with little money, no plans, and no place to live in order to go to nursing school. It's never too late to drop everything and change direction. If you're lucky, you'll be an adult for 70 years. You've been an adult for 7. Literally 10% of your adult life. You got plenty of time. I'm 35 years old. For most of my life, I considered myself a fuck up. I barely passed high school, and never went to college. I have plenty of regrets from my past, a lot of which is still affecting me to this day. There's no easy answer here. It's just something you have to learn to live with. There's no other choice, since you can't go back and change it. What you can do is change what you do from this point on. I'm hesitant to give out any more advice than that, however, as I do not know your circumstances. What helped for me might not help for you as our circumstances could be vastly different. I will echo the advice of other people here, and recommend that you see a mental health professional. That was the first step on what helped me. Consider yourself lucky. Most people don't realize they've been a failure until way later in life. You can start with cleaning your room. I laugh and remember being a 25 year old who felt like he'd wasted so much time. Then the better parts of two decades went by. You're very young still and have so much more life to live. You're barely an adult. You objectively may or may not be a failure. It does not matter. I promise you this. What matters is what you do today, and tomorrow, and the day after that, and all the days after that. It's time to forgive yourself and move on. Leave your past self behind and do better. You can live your better life. Start today. Forgive yourself and love yourself. Accept the past and don't let it define you. We all struggle, we all fail, but you are way too young for such deep regrets. If all of this sounds stupid to you then that is because it takes a lot of time and work to understand. Start now. If you can, go to therapy. If not then start with self-help books. I was once where you are and I believe you can make it. I believe in you. Good luck. Anyone else reading all the just start over comments and not really have a clue what that means? Like get a new job? Great, I have no real qualifications, so it's manual labor slash admin slash customer service. Get an education? Can't afford university. Move to a new city? Now I'm depressed and see my family less. Please try to be specific in your advice guys. Broad statements aren't exactly helpful. You're very blessed to understand you are not who you want to be now, nor where you want to be. 
many don't get that until they're too far gone to adapt and change. 25 is green. You're not a decade out of high school. You have several lifetimes to live. Take the learnings of this first iteration to improve upon the next. Money, identity, and security are unfortunately not usually available at your age. You can work towards these though. Do your best, forget the rest. And for fuck's sake if you're deeming yourself a failure based on others delete your social media because you're doing it wrong, every cunt has problems, many try to save face through the aperture of their curated online presence. If you're depressed, anxious, etc go see a psych. Just do it. You've got a sprain in your brain, ice that shit, stop running on it. We'll